Hello everyone, it's Cleo here, and today we're going to be talking about the latest MLP G5 news. So first of all, yesterday we saw a preview page from a book called My Little Pony Meet the Ponies of Maritime Bay. It shows a map of G5 Equestria with some interesting information. Now of course, most noteworthily, you can see in the top left corner, Opaline's Dark Castle, which of course we should just assume is the name of this alicorn that everyone's been talking about. She has a name now, she's a real character, she has a castle right there that somehow nobody knows about. We're not really sure how they missed that one. On the map also, you can see in Maritime Bay, there's the Crystal Bright House, Main Melody Salon, the Sheriff Station, and there is a new place listed, Grandma Figgy's Cottage. Could Grandma Figgy be Hitch's or Sunny's grandmother or an entirely new character? Maybe she's kind of like Yoda and she knows all the information about magic and G4 Equestria and the new main five have to go to her for advice. I could definitely see them doing that, that seems cliche enough. Maybe, just maybe, she will add a little bit of intrigue, a little bit of desperately needed plot to this storyline. Maybe she's what we need, maybe she's nothing much, maybe she is literally just Sunny's grandma, who knows. Anyway, the book is releasing on the 13th of September, so we're gonna know pretty soon. More interestingly, of course, there are eight new screenshots revealed for the Make Your Mark series. This is coming to Netflix on the 26th of September. Oddly, the new series is going by the name of Make Your Mark Chapter 2, which implies that this first special is Chapter 1, even though I really thought it was all just the same series. It seemed to be dividing it up kind of strangely. Currently, Chapter 2 is confirmed to have eight 22-minute episodes. Here we have a couple of the girls doing some like arts and crafts stuff, and there's some headphones uncomfortably sitting around Pip's neck, which just kind of look they're floating there. We're not going to talk about how poor the animation looks. We're not going to talk about how poor any of it actually looks because we have talked about it and we have talked about it. And of course, we know this animation is literally just going to look the same as the Make Your Mark special we've already seen. So if you want to know my thoughts on the animation, we have gone over it at length, excessive length. Really, it wasn't necessary, but we talked about it anyway. So ignoring that, we're just going to kind of state the obvious about these pictures and maybe the less obvious. Here we can see the Sparky Macaroni, whatever his name is, genuinely can't remember with a mug on his head he walks about on two legs and they are really tiny i mean he's not as cute as spike is he's nowhere close to being as cute as spike is i know it's trying desperately to be cute but he's just not look how much cuter the animals are can we just appreciate that adorable little tortoise next to him if the dragon was cute like these animals are then he'd be a lot closer to being the ideal but as it stands Yes, it just looks a bit creepy there. No fan, not a fan at all. Where's Spike? Here's Izzy and the little creature at the sheriff station for some reason, not sure what it is. And the next one we have all of our main characters and the literally worst animated liquid I have ever seen in my life. Look at that, look at that. Please, can we just appreciate how horrible that looks? I know I said I wouldn't say anything, but it had to be said because this looks so bad. And there's some mysterious tree with some foals in it for some reason. The main characters, however, do not look concerned, despite the fact that it looks like it probably be to do with the villains. Maybe they just don't care about these kids. Who knows? And I'm not sure what the significance of this goop is. It looks kind of like the giant black hole thing from before, but they don't seem to be concerned, and it does seem to be just a liquid on them. More interestingly, we have a screenshot here of Zip in a garden with that new character, that unicorn we saw with the alicorn at the end of the special. The lighting here does, thank God, look a little bit better and I think this is probably like her true colors here. I love her mane. I think it's really great to see that kind of more Afro hair texture instead of everybody just having straight hair. It's really nice to see some variety. And uh, yeah, it's nice to see somebody who isn't just the same five characters. It's interesting that she starts out with the bad guys and then she's hanging out with the good guys. Maybe she's pretending to be nice or maybe she was pretending to be evil or maybe she just changes sides. Now, I think her name is very likely Misty because we did see this list of pony actors here and this actress here is named as Misty or she plays Misty. So I'm thinking this must be her because there doesn't seem to be any other character who would fit the bill, especially since we know the villain is called Opaline. Here we have a very, very derpy looking Pip and some other friends looking at the lantern. Yeah, that's that's a simple one. And then we see our main villain. Now she looks pretty different here to how she looked at the end of the special. I don't think anything of her design has actually been changed. I think it's just the lighting and the animation being so poorly rendered that this is actually the color she's supposed to be. And that dark color from before was just some very poor animation. 
Here we see she's casting a spell on a flower and she has a little assistant there looking very concerned. So I'm thinking maybe the assistant's really just not evil at all and she's probably just going to turn straight to the good side. This villain does look as bad as ever. Uh, the design is pretty atrocious. All the colours look, in my opinion, very bad together. I know they're trying not to go for the pastel thing because she's in for evil, but that doesn't mean the colours have to be that garish. And then we have one of the girls on the beach looking at a phone. There's some really choice pip expressions in these screenshots, though. I've got to be saying that. Look at it. So that's all the screenshots. Obviously, the most interesting is these new villain characters, although I really don't think this unicorn is going to be a villain. I think she's just going to join our band of characters. Now, Thunderbird Entertainment, the company producing MLP Make Your Mark, has revealed that in addition to the eight confirmed episodes of the series of Chapter 2 and the MLP Holiday Special reported a while back, an additional 15 22-minute episodes and three 44-minute specials have been confirmed and are currently in production. We don't really know anything else about these specials, but it's interesting that they are just going full steam ahead with these, despite the fact that I haven't seen many of these toys for sale, and I haven't really seen many people other than myself talking about G5. Maybe they're finally going to give ponies the push they deserve. Maybe we're going to see more of a marketing push. I would like to see that. I still like pony toys. I'd like to see more of them on shelves. It's just a shame that I personally haven't been seeing any particular push. It certainly seems like a far lesser deal than it was at the beginning of G4 with products being everywhere. But that is the update. I hope and pray that the upcoming episodes are better than the chapter one of Make Your Mark. The chapter two hopefully does a little bit better. Unfortunately, it does look like the animation is as poor as ever, but that's just to be expected. Hopefully they've got some different writer on board or somebody has been a little bit more inspired to make some story that's a little bit, well, just better in every way, just better. But what do you think to all this information? I would love to know. Let me know all of your thoughts on this and especially your predictions in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.